Good afternoon guys, it's JagerT62. I'm going to be doing more Armored Warfare news. Now, as you can see, I'm talking about historical camouflages. They just put up this article a couple of days ago because now they're doing Mediterranean camouflages. But for anybody who doesn't know, about a month ago, a little, little less than a month ago, maybe three weeks, they released six historical camouflage types from Russia. And these are lesser known Cold War style camouflages. They're kind of cool. You can put them on any vehicle, any environment, once you get the camo. And they're neat. They did this because they had the Eurovagen Zavod camo and it was a huge success right after the Berlin Brigade, which is another huge success. Um, these are less known camos. These are more realistic, not combat realistic per se, but as you can see by the Greek Leopard here, these are camouflages that are actually implemented in the real world on vehicles that may not really actually have been in combat, but are used nonetheless. And so I'm just going to go through and show you some of these. I don't really want to talk about the camos themselves, although my favorite out of these six is the two Greek ones. The two from Cyprus, which I think is really cool that they're actually doing um, camos from Cyprus. It just seems like an interesting place and an interesting choice. But my favorite is the Italian camouflage because this one here was an Italian callback to their World War II camouflage and they re-implemented it on some modern vehicles. Obviously nothing as modern as the C1 Arietti, which is pictured here. But nonetheless, like I said, lesser known, maybe experimental, but they were used. Now, unlike the other two which are given away for free periodically, these will all six of these will come out and they're already out I believe I might have to check on that and you have to purchase them just like every other skin that they've released and so it's about 2,000 gold a camouflage and that's what I want to talk about because while this is really interesting to me and I really want to get your guys take on introducing camouflages I really loved this idea and I was super behind it but what I'm not behind is that they do it by sets here but when you go on their store to buy like the Russian camouflages, it's 2,000 gold for each camouflage or 12,000 gold to own all of the Mediterranean camos. Just like the flag thing, I think it's a ridiculously large amount of gold. Obviously, I don't think the camos should be free if they're doing this many of them. Uh, that's a lot of work for the dev team. It's um, They need to make money somehow. So I understand paying for it, but I assumed it would be 2,000 a set. Because 2,000 a skin, yes, but these are just camos. So I thought it would be 2,000 a set I would go in for because it's only 1,000. That's fair. And, you know, you don't have to. That's another thing I have to stress. You don't have to buy these. They don't actually add camo factor. They're just really cool. They're basically skins. So, you know, I understand why they would price them that way. It just seems a little bit expensive to me. So I'm probably not going to go in for any of these camos for that price. That's about $11 American, which is a little pricey, even though they do look cool, because there's a lot of other skins you can win. And while I want more, I personally want more historical skins than what I have, for now, I'm good with just the two that I have. Uh, if you guys disagree, please tell me in the comments section below. Let me know if you want to see some certain historical camouflages that you think would be interesting. I'm hoping we can get some Chinese digital out of this, even though there is faux digital patterns already in the game. But other than that, I think this is a really interesting idea. I hope they lower the prices or sell batch camo in the future. Maybe that'll be something we see. I'm hoping it is. But that's the only Armored Warfare news I have right now. Still no sign or no news on when they're going to release the next update. I'm still saying it'll probably be in August. So I will probably make another video then if nothing else happens between now and the, uh, now and August. But let me know what you think about these camouflages. I really do like the Italian ones. I think it's interesting. I just wish they would lower the price. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does a lot to help me continue making videos like this. And let me you know that the Armored Warfare community is still out there and still watching videos because I know I've been pretty heavy on World of Tanks lately. But I want to get playing Armored Warfare again. And I want to start making more videos about it. So. Let me know if you want to see more Armored Warfare videos, please subscribe to the channel, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.